So here we are in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, at the uh, Vasa Museum. Mina this Mina is Mina a Mina fairly Mina amazing Mina museum Mina that has an intact 17th century portion saved shortly after leaving the harbor, really only about five minutes into the journey. Uh, and the ship was built uh, incorrectly and it wasn't uh, seaworthy, basically. And what's interesting about the Vasa Museum, I think, relative to the immersive that we're talking about, is uh, the idea of the big feature. Quite obviously, if you have a ship, a storage ship that is about 95% intact, that itself is going to be an instant sort of attraction and draw for the space. So in this case, you have a museum that uses one key feature, the ship itself, as the basis of uh, the entire attraction. And as you go through the other levels of the uh, museum, you see different reconstructions of films, artifacts, uh, that, that detail the story, that really tell this whole narrative about um, the Vasa, its fate, its, uh, how it was built, and uh, the significance of it in historical and cultural senses. So here you can use the big feature of an intact warship as a way of really theming the entire space and giving the entire space a story to tell. So it's a, an amazing site if you make it to uh, to stop here at the uh, the Boston Museum. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting here, obviously, in the uh, reconstruction of life on board the ship, is that you, uh, as the guest enters the space, you have to stoop down to avoid the beams, and so it gives you a sense of the. Uh, I guess claustrophobia you might experience as a sailor on the ship, so kind of a neat um, design here in terms of just giving the guest a perspective of life on board. So um, here we are again at the uh, Vasa Museum in, in Stockholm, and um, one of the things that any space has to deal with is uh, pedestrian flow and controlling traffic and so forth. And because it's such an amazing space and a space that is tight in places, um, you know, one thing I think that probably the designers think about is the sense that a space is going to get crowded and not everyone's going to be able to uh, see. And just going through for the first time as a guest myself, I sort of had that reflection of being in the Louvre, or being in a really crowded museum where I want to see more and at times I'm frustrated because I can't see everything. And I don't know if this is a thing that can be dealt with and um, it's one of the things as we take a walk here, we're going to see hundreds of tourists all with cameras all trying to get a great view of the ship and it's just, you know, really a challenge just from a guest perspective I would say the frustration of not being able to see everything and having to deal with every tourist who's trying to get that great picture of the Vasa of the ship itself. So um, something to think about, I, I think, as uh, you visit any space, is um, walk through the space as a guest would and think about maybe that frustration that you sometimes feel when you're trying to see everything along with the other thousands of people who are trying to get that, that same view as you. So a bit of perspective here in, in Stockholm at the Vasa Museum.